Hey everybody, hope you're all having a fantastic day. I have another review video for you guys and this one is going to be about one of my absolute favorites from the summer is Gigi and you guys have probably seen me wearing it like over and over because I'm obsessed and I just can't stop. Like I'm just really really into the designs and they're from Yulia Raquel and that's how you spell the company's name. And I'm going to try my best to pronounce it correctly in the video, even though my dialect always makes it come out as IJG. And I'm going to try my best to say it. It's just a dialect thing because I'm a country girl. It's just one of those things where if you're familiar with like people saying Italian instead of Italian or something, something similar. It's like you know how it is, but it comes out IGG. So anyway, <laughs> let's talk about that, my shopping experience. Of course, these videos are all about my personal shopping experience, and hopefully they'll be helpful to you guys. So Ijiji makes clothing for plus-size women, and I think that the designer Yulia Raquel really understands, like, the cut, the design, the fabric, what someone's looking for, for, like, daytime, for work dresses, for evening cocktail, even wedding dresses. I mean, I feel like she really understands. So the cuts, the design, everything, absolutely beautiful. I think Gigi is kind of like the higher end, top of the top kind of designs because I think I, I can see that there's a lot, lot of work put into it. Whereas you know other things I may put on from different companies, I may not feel as special in or that it's as custom of a look or something. I feel like those are really you know on par with like these higher end designers, and that they really are just very special pieces. So when I was shopping the Intro to Fall collection, there was a lot of just gorgeous colors from these cool jewel tones to just your beautiful little black dress, a lot of different like prints and patterns and that sort of thing, and just a great selection of those daytime dresses and the evening kind of cocktail fancy dresses with the beading on it and that sort of thing. There's just so many beautiful dresses. One dress I was absolutely obsessed with and couldn't keep my eyes off of, and that was the one I didn't hesitate to pick to get because I was obsessed with it, and that's the Sean dress that you guys probably saw me wearing this week. I'll put some pictures in, but I wore it, and I'm in love with it. I thought this dress was really great because it seems really versatile. I, I would feel comfortable wearing it to lunch, to dinner, to work with a client on like styling something, to go to a meeting, to go out for something. I feel like it's something I could wear for a really long time. I also love the waist on it because this is similar to some of the belts that Gigi makes. But this is an actual just the waistband of the dress. It's made in a similar way and I really like the defined waist because I have sort of that hourglass kind of figure so I really like that. I like the defining of it. So it was really cute in that aspect. I thought that it was just something that was very modern looking. Something that I hadn't seen at a lot of other designers or in stores I've been shopping at. So it's something I felt like I had to have. So I picked that one out and I thought it was beautiful. There are also in the collection some gorgeous like separates, tops, and skirts. Even like the beautiful clutches that would be perfect for evening or cocktail hour and jewelry. So I feel like Yulia Raquel and Ajiji really understand kind of um, what we're looking for. And if you're a dress lover like me then I, I would highly recommend looking at the website because they do have some gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. I pretty much live in dresses, so I like a dress to be very comfortable, something I can move around in really easily, and something that I feel fashionable in. And I feel like this is this designer in particular really understands that. So if you're looking for that sort of thing, then I'll put the link below so you guys can check it out. As far as sizing, their sizing is a little larger, and they'll tell you that on the website that it's uh, really generous in sizing. So it's a little roomier than maybe other brands and stuff that you're used to wearing, but they do have size charts, so that makes it a lot easier. You can compare their measurements with your own personal measurements, find the best thing for you. They do sizes 12 through 30, 32. So very generous, uh, even range of sizes that I think is incredible because some are very limited. They'll say it's plus size line, but it's very limited, which is unfortunate. But this one is really awesome in the range of sizes that they have. So, and one thing I loved, like when I was looking at their Facebook page, like people post pictures of themselves wearing the dresses. So if you're ever curious, kind of what someone who you think may be around your size will look like in a dress or something, look at their Facebook page because they, I mean, and the women of all sizes look absolutely gorgeous, stunning in these dresses. So check it out. As far as the shopping experience, 
uh, it was very easy to pick what I wanted to select it and then with shipping they have several different options they even have international shipping and so they have it to where if you were in the US and you need it tomorrow or if you need it like overnighted like they have the option they have the two-day and the standard I did the standard because that's what I always do if you guys have watched these videos I don't think I've ever not done standard shipping <laughs> But I did the standard shipping. This was coming from California. You guys know a lot of things I order come from California and they definitely usually take about a week. And this was a little quicker than I was even expecting it to get here. It had like the three to seven day window and I know it arrived a little quicker than I was expecting and I was very excited about that. So I know that they were on top of things with that. So let me show you the dress, how it arrived, that sort of thing. It came in a box and then it was on its own hanger. And even though I've worn it, I put it back in the plastic just so we can pretend. So it came with a hanger, it came in the plastic as a lot of, you know, higher end sort of things do. And so there's a quick little peek at that and how it arrived. And it's just beautiful. I've kept the plastic and the hanger just because a lot of times if a dress comes in plastic, then I'm likely to keep it in there just to keep it protected because I do feel like this is more of a special piece. This dress was $118 and I think it was well worth that price just because of the quality of it and how long I'm expecting to wear it and what I'm expecting to get out of it. I think I will. A lot of times I'll get like a cheaper dress and maybe wear it once and twice. It's not the best quality. I get rid of it, whatever. But this is one of those things that's more of an investment investment piece for me that I intend to keep for a while. So I think that um, if you're looking for that kind of thing, if you're looking for even like a special cocktail dress or little black dress or something like that that you can wear over and over in different ways, then I would recommend them because I think that they really do have like those kind of things that are timeless. I'm very pleased. I intend to wear more Ijiji pieces and I've been really happy so far. I haven't met an Ijiji dress that I didn't like so they're definitely kind of at the top of my list of things I love. And so I think that you guys would probably like them too if you're dress lovers like me and I know a lot of you guys are and some of you are just getting into dresses or occasionally wear a dress if you're that kind of person that I think that you guys would like those as well. So anyway, I'll put the link below if you want to check it out. I'll put the link to the Sean dress too if anyone loves it. If you have any more questions about a Gigi, you can put them below and I'll try to answer them. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye everybody.